Good morning, Joey. and welcome back to another vlog i know i did not post a vlog or like a long form video last week and that's just because i was kind of busy i had my nursing final this week and so i was studying for it and i just didn't want too much on my plate because as much as i love recording and editing the long vlogs it does take up a decent portion of my time and so i just decided to not stress myself out and just to focus more on the final i took it this tuesday and i hope it went well i think it went okay i definitely passed the class i just really want to know the grade i got on it because i know i did not study for it as much is I should have but it's okay uh honestly what kind of threw me off so on Saturday night we went out to dinner with my parents and my grandparents I don't think I mentioned this in my last vlog but my grandparents actually came in from Poland which is really fun they're staying over at my parents house and so they're here for six weeks so they've already stayed like their first week and so I've been trying to spend as much time as I can with them which also kind of I just rather spend time with them and be present than like obviously record a video if that makes sense but anyway so we all went out to dinner on saturday we came home and we have like a staircase leading up into our house because we technically live like on the second floor it's all one floor it's just like we live above the garages because we live in a townhouse i think i've talked about that before but i was walking up the stairs and very randomly all of a sudden like my back popped and i threw on my back completely like you guys it was kind of a tragedy i'm not even exaggerating so saturday night we came home and actually we left rocco like out of his crate and for the first time ever he kind of like got into or not kind of he got into all of joey's like coloring things that we have in the living room in those bins in the corner and he like ripped apart all the paper so i had to clean all of that up and as i was like cleaning it because joe took him outside i could just feel that my back there was something wrong and i knew right away that i threw it out because this happened to my mom like quite frequently a little while ago and whenever it would happen to her she could like barely stand up and i don't think mine was nearly as bad as hers were whenever she had it happen to her but it was definitely very painful saturday i then i sat down on the couch and i was like watching tv and i really started to feel it and then sunday morning when i woke up i actually i started crying to joe and i was like i don't know how i'm gonna get through this i have to study for my final but i like sitting hurts i cannot stand it hurt very bad it was hard to like straighten myself out and then on monday because that was the technically like the last week of our spring break and so on monday i had to go to the clinical and even though it was the last day i was like how am i gonna follow around a nurse for the whole day because honestly if i was like working at the time as a nurse i'd probably call off work because it was really that bad so i texted my friend she we like talked about it and i was like you know what i'm gonna take myself to the immediate care so i took myself to the immediate care they prescribed me a muscle relaxer long story short it was working today is thursday and i feel a lot better i've noticed already a difference on monday on monday i took two and then i've just been taking them every single night they make me a little groggy that's why i take them at night but they have been working like i feel the very slightest pinch still and i think i could like massage it out and i think maybe if i take it one more time today it'll be totally gone but literally night and day difference so thank god i got those but that also kind of put me in a bad mood because it just made it really hard to do anything especially with joey too he was so clingy because he was also sick like when we went to the children's museum I did not vlog that, but I think I posted a short on my YouTube of going to the Children's Museum and Joey actually came down with crew, which I kind of anticipated that he might get sick because we went over spring break and it was so busy. And even my sister, when she went with us, she's like, this is so germy. And I, I was like, I know it's, it's gross. And so we hand sanitized them like two times while we were there. But honestly, like it's clean there. It's just so many kids in one place. It was too much, honestly. I'm surprised that we stayed, but it was really fun. So he got croup and so he still kind of has a runny nose he's looking at me because he's laying on the ground with a ball underneath his shirt but he got croup and so he was very clingy and so honestly it was a good decision that i made that i did not vlog because 
I would have been very stressed out, but we're just gonna do a regular day in the life today. I wanna try to get to my mom's house if I can, because I wanna hang out with my grandparents and I just wanna soak up as much time with them as possible because obviously since we're not all living together anymore, before when they would come visit, like I would see them every day and I'm very bonded with my grandparents, so Anyways, I have to do a few things around the house though because we went over there yesterday and so today Joey got a new love every subscription box So I want to like kind of rotate his toys and like just put them away I want to part some of his toys not throw them away But pack them up and then so that way I can store them in my parents basement because that's where we store a lot of Joey's extra things Because we just don't have the storage. I'm also wanting to like put together our Outfits for Easter. I ordered a dress up Amazon if it comes in in time I'll show you guys today in this vlog but I want to like pick out what Joe is going to wear and then what Joe is going to wear just so we can like kind of match. And I don't know, just so it's nice and I'm not last minute if I have to iron stuff because I don't like it when it's like super wrinkly clothes, especially on a day that we're like going to church and you want to take a picture. So anyways, I got to do that. Show you guys what I got Joey for his Easter basket, even though this vlog will probably be up maybe the day before Easter. I'm still gonna show you guys because I think it's just cute. And then just kind of stuff around the house, like laundry and things like that. But I hope that you guys are excited to watch this video. The flowers? Okay. Okay, baby, figured out what he wanted. He wanted his sensory bin with the noodles, but I want to show you guys some of the new toys that he got from Love Every because they're so cute. It might be kind of hard to purge these things and put it in a trash bag. I want to do it right now because I have time, but obviously this is not sponsored or anything. I just really love their toys, and if you were like even considering it, I would definitely recommend it. It is a little bit pricey. As I was saying, I definitely recommend. I know they're a little bit on the pricier side, but Joey really likes playing with them, and they're really good quality, and you get like a lot for your money's worth so if you've been on the fence i'm just putting that out there that i recommend them anyways though he got i forget which like age group this crate was i can look it up he got these three little hoops really cute with the bean bags he likes to throw them in he got this cute little thing and i like this because it's different shapes so he has to move the shapes or he has to move like the actual circle to get it on and it's the same like throughout all of these he's not really into this one yet but i think he will be because that usually always happens he like, really likes a few toys and then the rest it takes him a while to like warm up to he also got this thing right here this one is his absolute favorite right now because he can hit in like the shapes with the hammer or like the screws with the hammer and then there's different like sheets that you can put on here so he can like arrange different like colorways if that makes sense yes joey you got your ball in your belly this is my life, you guys. Joey's doing this. Rocco next to me chewing his bone. And we just keep going. Like right now. Hey, Joey, I want to show him your toys, buddy. No. Oh. All right. The last few things that he got in this was a timer. It comes with a battery. I have to install it. We already got a timer, but I think this one's so cute. It came with like these experiment flasks. I'm excited to look up activities that I can do with him. And then he also got these cards that they like each have a matching card so like you put them face down and then they try to like memory play like the matching game i thought it was really cute really good thought out crate So that was a little stressful because Joey kept on trying to take out all the toys that I was trying to put away, but I did a quick and easy toy rotation. I just took out a few of his old toys and then they're mostly new toys and kind of laid it out for him. No puzzles this time because I found that he's not really like engaging with them. And then over here are all the toys that I'm going to put in the trash bag. I love to use like plastic bags for things like this because it's super easy storage. These are puzzles that I think he's just totally outgrown and so they're all just going to go. Some of these are baby toys. Some of these things he never really played with like these i don't know i think he might still be way too young for them i might i like have a really good memory of the things that he has so whenever i'm looking for something i always just know where it is if that makes sense so i can find it really easily and then i do have to get another bin for all of those things because they don't fit in either of those but i did also organize the toys that are in the living room in the ottoman this was stressing me out because i couldn't fit all of his cars so i took that little blue bin and i threw in like the little ones on the bottom and then he has all the big ones now all of his big trucks are underneath like the paper pad and it all fits 
So I'm really happy with that. And now I just have to go fill the trash bag. You guys can probably hear Miss Rachel in the background because we just got home. I packed Joey up in the car with Rocco and we went to my mom's house and they were not home. This actually happens kind of often. I feel like I have to get better at texting them and seeing if they are home. I don't know. I just always figure that they are, but they went to North Star Mac. So, but it was okay because I have to drop off a form for school anyway. I want to update you guys because for school, I just finished up my last class that I took the final for. I'll probably do it a little bit later because I want to make myself some Thing to eat but dropped off the form redid the load of laundry i took rock outside so now we are back home and i think i'm going to show you guys the shoes that i got for joey that i mentioned in my last vlog like the stride right shoes because they came in a little while ago and they are really cute these are the shoes these are the sandals that i got for him i think these are a size eight and i got these in like the normal width but i wish i maybe would have gotten the wide i don't know he tried these on a few times now he really likes them and he tried them on with the sock and he wasn't fully like standing upright with the sock. I don't know. So I think size wise they're fine. Maybe just a little bit wider. But they're really cute. And then these are the tennis shoes I got him. They are adorable just like this beige color i wish they had a little bit of a darker color because i feel like they're gonna get dirty but they're gonna be really easy to wash so i'm excited for the shoes once it starts getting a little bit warmer and not as dirty outside are you gonna cook your egg yeah. <laughs> on, on the big stove you want some oatmeal yeah. So I have to fold all of this laundry since it's just finished drying so I thought I would give you guys a little update while I try to get most of this done. We are going to see how well multitasking goes because I feel like I'm not very good at it. So we shall see. Joey went to sleep really really early today. He He's not feeling well I think still because of the crew so literally I put him down at 12 30 because he started to whine and i asked him if he wanted to take a nap and he was like yes i want to take a nap and he went down willingly he had no really trouble falling asleep so he's napping currently but i wanted to update you guys on my preceptorship that i mentioned earlier so i took my final this past tuesday i still don't have my grade back we heard that the professor's dad is in the hospital so i think it's still gonna be a little while before we get our grades back these last six weeks of nursing school are going to be preceptorship so basically i'm going to be shadowing someone who is a nurse or at least that is what i was under the impression however i guess it's like really hard to like find people to be willing to do that so a few people in our class actually got night shift and i put on like my sheet that we have to fill out a while back that i cannot do nights and like ideally i want to do something with kids i got something with kids however i got placed with a elementary school nurse it's cool because it's in the same district that i grew up in so i will be going back to like the same middle school that i went to but i'm not like super excited for it just because i don't know i wish i if anything i was at like a peds clinic and it's what it is so for my next six weeks three days a week i am going to be like shadowing the school nurse it's three different schools the two elementary schools i've never been to because i went to a different elementary school which i'm kind of wish it was at the same elementary school because at that point might as well you know like go back to all of my like pre-kid things or pre pre-kid things to all like when I was a kid things so I'm gonna be precepting which kind of makes me 
a little anxious for like how much time I'm actually gonna have to do YouTube and things like that just because I very much enjoy like filming so I we will have to work it out it is a little bit also of a bummer because even if I were to work which I do plan on doing once I graduate. I'm graduating with my associate's degree. I do plan on going to get my bachelor's degree straight from my associate's. Permitting I pass the NCLEX because we're taking the next gen, I would only be to most likely just working part-time just so I could like, you know, bring in a little bit of an income and then also be able to do school. So this is gonna be a lot in the sense that like, it's almost like full-time and we're not getting paid for it, which is fine. I know some schools do get paid for it, we're not. As soon as I found out some people do, kind of crazy that I guess we don't, but it is what it is. So that is just a little update that I wanted to give with that. I'm gonna be doing a preceptorship and so I don't really know how much time I'm gonna have to do like long vlogs because my days are gonna be consumed by like school things and that's just not what my channel is. So I'm gonna most likely continue to doing shorts. It's just the long form vlogs might not be coming as often but i wanted to update you guys on that after i'm done filming all this laundry i'm going to show what i got for joey's easter basket and then hopefully i can show you guys the dress i got because i ordered it to the last minute i ordered it yesterday but you know amazon prime is like so fast but it says it's not supposed to get here until tonight <laughs> so i don't know we shall see oh also i wanted to update so on headaches in my last vlog i mentioned that i get headaches and I actually purchased the liquid IV packets. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of like liquid IV. It's a very popular thing right now. I didn't buy it just because I was worried about all the sugar that was in it, but I got a really bad migraine and I finally caved and I bought it and oh my God, they are amazing, I swear. I think it's because they have all the B vitamins and the B and the D vitamins are a lot of times like what causes headaches or like what helps with migraines so if you are someone who struggles with migraines i or even headache if you feel one like coming on try the liquid ivs if you've never tried them i got the passion fruit one it's really good i just put it in my stanley i recommend filling it up like halfway though because otherwise it's a lot of water you have to drink and i'm the type of person who doesn't like like a gritty feeling in my mouth and i feel like it does that and i feel like that is a lot the case with sugary drinks try the liquid iv it has helped me in case you also have headaches I thought I'd share. So this is what I got Joey for Easter. I'm sharing this just simply if you like need an idea. I hope this vlog goes up the day before Easter. So like last minute ideas. Definitely don't feel like you have to do an Easter basket. I feel like a lot of people share baskets for holidays. And if you do decide to do one, it doesn't have to be expensive. Like these are also just crafts that we're going to be doing. This is just a fun little thing that I want to do for Joey. So Right over here, this basket is last year from Target. They still have these baskets. They also have like other cute like pink prints if maybe you have a baby girl. And then in here, I just got him. This is to decorate the eggs that day of when we go over to my parents' house. So I got like a few things to do as like a fun activity and I got like plastic eggs so we don't have to use real ones. I thought that would be good. And then this is like a little Easter egg painting thing i also got this at target and i thought this would also be fun that we can do this like the day of with my sister or if joey like doesn't want to we can obviously just take it home and then a little cup they have like a set of six of these for eight dollars also from target most of this is from target except these two things are from walmart these are so cute joey already has like access to all the other ones except i saved the dinosaur one for easter i threw in a few easter eggs you could fill these with chocolate i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm just gonna have these in there for like decoration i did get him a chocolate though and then this is a fun little thing I found that's like a water toy that you color on and then it washes off in the water. Joey likes to play in the sink, so I thought this would be a good idea. And last but not least, a new little blue truck book. You know, if you've been watching my videos, Joey is obsessed with the little blue truck. I, I, there is a spoon already, baby. Spoon yeah. in. Yeah. Baby? Yeah. All right, eat your spaghetti, okay? Yeah. My mom said it's too. Mama, eat some spaghetti too? Yeah. Really hot. It's very hot, yeah. Oh! <laughs> mm. 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 Cook the Yanko. You're gonna cook a Yanko for mommy? Yeah. Right. No. You have a real egg? Mm. I think about you all the time. Mm. Oh my goodness! Mm. Cook. Okay, okay. Okay, ready? Flip it over. Flip. No. Flip. Flip. Look, we have to look for it. Bike. Here's the bike. Bike. Oh, 
too. Wow. It's in Nova. Yellow bus. Yellow bus. You ready? Flip it over. Ready? Mm. Use your shoe. Okay. Shukame, mame, dva bike. A gdzie jest yellow bus? Mm. Oh, no. Samolot. Samolot. <gasps> yellow bus. Yeah. Yay. Gdzie był samolot? Chyba tu. Oh, no. Car. Mm. A truck. Mm -hmm. <gasps> samolot. Airplane. Here you go. This one. <gasps> garbage truck. Do you have a garbage truck? Mm. Oh. 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 Two garbage trucks. Stop Yay. The auto. Auto. Should come out up? Yes. Oh. Oh. One. Two. Two auto. One auto. Yeah, two auto. This is auto. One auto. Yes, one auto. And the other auto. Bravo. Now what? Wee wee. Wow. Okay, you should ask. Yeah. All right, let's go one more time. Ready? Ready? Yeah, Dada's coming too. Are you riding? Yeah. Okay, let's get in. Dada's getting Rocco ready. Is Rocco coming too? Rocco. Rocco's coming too? Yeah. Okay, I'll climb after you. Okay. Ready? so much later now and I know that this is so dark and definitely not the best lighting but I wanted to end off this vlog that walk that we went on ended with a huge tantrum just because we ended up like ditching the stroller we brought it back to the car because Rocco was like being too much and Joey wanted to walk right away so we were like we're just gonna leave the stroller so that I could walk Rocco and then it turned into Joe holding them both and then it turned into Joe Joey like screaming five minutes or honestly more than five minutes it was like 10 minutes of the way home asking for me to hold him but we managed to make it home and then i didn't vlog anything after that just because whenever we get home and joey comes home from like crying or tantrum he's just not in a very good mood but i wanted to end off this vlog i wanted to say thank you to all of my new subscribers on here i've hit over 700 of you which in the grand scheme of things may not seem like a lot to some people but to me that is a lot that is a huge milestone and i just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my videos i truly appreciate every single one of you and i can't thank you enough for all the support that you show in my channel so if you liked this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.